Howdy folks, Doc here with LastPass Tool. And uh, I picked this up recently. It's a snap-on, it's a kind of a drain plug, marine drain plug or boat drain plug, uh, Zeus fastener screwdriver. It's a, it's a super beefy little thing. Question is, is it too beefy? I don't know. This particular one, it's half inch wide up here at the, at the blade, and it is the SGD155C. And um, I knew it, it's, it's been around for a while, and I knew about it and wondered, you know, if it would suit basically my need to replace this snap-on with a, I mean, this Craftsman with a snap-on. This is a 5 16 inch stubby slotted. And I did a video a long time ago on this, and I really like this. I've got a couple of them. This one's USA made. They make them overseas now. Uh, and this particular one, um, I bought a couple of them new, um, and you can find them occasionally, um, like on eBay in the U.S. configuration. But most of the time, uh, I, I use this thing when I want, you know, just some super control on a fairly large but low torque uh, fastener. Now, marine drain plugs and um, are can be very high torque. Um, Zeus is really low torque. Um, but I like the size of this thing and thought maybe I'll just give it a shot and see. These probably are an eBay purchase now. I don't know if you can get, you can buy the overseas version. I don't know if it matters to you, but um, it is a neat idea, you know, to shove a great big slotted head into a full-size handle um, and have kind of eliminate the shaft, basically. Um, so I've always liked this thing. I've always found it really handy, um, but... Um, I wanted to snap on one, I don't know, because I can. And this particular um, offering was about the only thing. Snap-on didn't make anything like this. Not sure why, maybe I'm the only one who really likes these things, but this particular guy is just, it's always been sitting on the ceiling of the snap-on truck, so I finally pulled the, pulled the drain plug on it and bought one. It's a, a, amazingly, it's, I mean, it's a half inch thick shaft here. However, if you compare it directly head to head with a large snap-on screwdriver, this large snap-on slotted that is, uh, this is the SH, SHD8, um, which this one's a 3 8 And you can see obviously this, this drain plug pl or drain plug screwdriver is a little bigger, but the thickness of it, of the blade is really similar. Just to ballpark here, I got 1.41 here and then slide that up onto the end there without it twisted, 1.48. That's about the smallest I can get it. So this, in some ways, might be a little smaller. Compare that to this uh, Craftsman. Um, this guy, 1.38. If I don't twist it there, I don't know, something like 3.6. Anyway, it's, it's a little smaller. Uh, more of a real world test. I've got three different slotted screws here. You might find these in old doors. I find them all the time in, in um, uh, some when I do like furniture refinishing, especially old stuff, um, and you know craftsman homes, things like that. You know, this is uh, this one here, the biggest. This easily fits in here, and so does my marine plug. Of course, you can't go flush because you'll scrape the uh, the wood it's going into, but it definitely um, grabs it. Next size down, no problem. Next size down. This one, that's the limit. This doesn't fit. Um, you can see that slot right there. Doesn't fit in there. Um, it's gonna either strip it or it's it's just gonna skip out or cam out. This, I can get in here. In fact, if I push it hard, I can actually show you that it holds it just fine. Um, but neither of these, these slotted screwdrivers fit in there tight enough. I might be able to get it to turn with a bunch of pressure, but not really made for it. So again, is it too beefy? Um, on the other end, here's my uh, Mayhew Dominator. It's kind of more of a demolition screwdriver or a demolition chisel with a striking cap that actually you know, is kind of mimicking as a screwdriver. It looks like a screwdriver. Nine out of 10 people would think it's a screwdriver, but look at the thickness here. Remember this guy here was like 1.4 something. There's one point, that's way at the end, wow. Let me see if I can get that. Anyways, 
1.4 to 1.5. Um, this thing here now, this Mayhew, when I go even to the very end, you can see I'm just barely, I'm using this kind of my finger here to, maybe I'll do it here so you can see to just keep those, those tips right at the end. Um, 2.38, so it is massively bigger. Unless you grind it down, which I have done. I did that with a set of Milwaukee Demolition um, slotted screwdrivers a long time ago. I may have made a video about it. But anyway, this is a, more of a, a beefy demolition tool, whereas this is a uh, kind of a more of a large-scale precision tool. Notice it does have that um, kind of snap-on uh, ring, the you know, hex ring that you can get a tool on. This one, because they dropped the shaft in, normally it'd be a square shaft, uh, you've lost that purchase. So I can drop a wrench right on it. And in fact, this case, I'm using a snap-on half-inch um, 916 flare nut wrench. Um, works great, this particular thing. I, I don't know, maybe the, I don't know if it'll hold up, you know, if you really were applying a ton of force on this thing compared to a box end, but I don't use this for anything else. So play with it here. So anyway, nice solid design. I like the handle. I like the, you know, the substance of this, this short shaft. If you look at this, what is this thing in inches? Let me, oh, by the way, another use. Remember I said, if you, you go into fractions, I was just curious right away before I started digging through wrenches to see what was gonna fit on this. And I can just drop it right up half inch told me my answer. But anyway, if I look at the uh, the length here, expand that out. Um, so what do I got? I don't know, about three inches for the full length right there of this shaft. But anyway, what do you think? Um, what this is reminiscent of is, is kind of the old drag linkage um, drivers. Here's an old one. This is a snap-on um, get the number for you in case you're wondering, uh, A26. This is, uh, old school, um, early drag linkages in the steering assemblies of Jeeps and trucks and stuff used something that you had to have this giant slotted kind of thing. Imagine this on a 24 inch breaker bar. I mean, talk about leverage. Uh, most of the time though, uh, you don't need anything like that. In fact, this, they don't even make this thing anymore. Um, they do make an industrial one, industrial finish one that I think is still available, but um, most people never, never come across a need for something like that. And most people might not ever come across a need for something like this. Let me know in the comments. Um, I don't know. It just looked like it would be super handy at some point. Um, I, I have used these in the past for large plastic screws, plastic slotted screws, um, access to watch, uh, and, uh, and watch size battery panels. Um, and, uh, there are occasionally some real low torque, large, uh, slotted, um, connectors that I've run into. I've run into them in vacuum cleaners. I've run into them, small appliances. Anyway, I thought I'd give this a shot and see if this just is, is the answer. So anyway, there it is. With that, Doc out.